Welcome back. So let's try and change our auth service so it's actually returning an observable instead of a promise here. So how do we do that? Well, step one is very simple. We need to just convert this into an observable. So we are going to return an observable instead of a promise, right? Now observables, they actually come from their RxJS here and it's just an observable. So if your ID didn't import this automatically like mine did, you have to manually import this observable from RxJS. Okay, now how do we resolve an observable compared to a promise. It's again pretty simple. You just have to write observable.off instead to get that one off where you actually pull out this specific um, uh, user right here. Okay, so now we have set up to actually return an observable instead of a promise. That's all you had to do. Now using observables. Again, there's a lot to learn about observables, so I'm just going to do it slowly by just taking small parts and this is how you can use observables in your own code. Now when we start using the, the services for our REST API, we'll actually have other people who have built observables that will have returned for us and we can use them. So you won't build this yourself in the future, but this is how you would make an observable, at least one way to do it. You can do a lot more, but we'll, I don't want to cover that now. Let's go into the component because now we should get an error in here because there's no then available for an observable. You can't do that then for an observable. So how do we actually listen in an observable pattern? We subscribe instead. So subscribe means I'm going to listen for changes on this uh, login service. And it actually means I'm going to keep listening for changes. Not only once, I can keep on listening for changes for a specific period of time. Now, if you're looking for just a one-off getting data just once, this might be overkill and it might bring some issues if you don't unsubscribe. But normally, I think it would make sense to have this, and I'll show you in a second how you can unsubscribe if you do not want to keep listening for changes. Good. Let's keep this for now. Um, let's see if the code still works with these very simple changes. I'll do L builder, I'll do one, two, three, and I'll do sign in. Ta da, you're locked in. Okay, can we still do the L builder? Oh, yeah, let's try and do a delay again, like we did in the last video. So I'll just do a dot delay here, just to see if, if we actually fixed our problem. Notice how similar it is to add delay here. Let's put in a few seconds here, five seconds, and let's do an L builder again. Now we're faking the delay just like I did in the last video. Look, I can sign in multiple times. Let's see what happens. Doink, 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 doink. We didn't solve anything, Lars, it still fails. Yes, it still fails, but I can solve this using an observable, and I couldn't solve it using a promise. Next lesson, we'll solve this issue by unsubscribing to the promise. See you in the next lesson.